Alright, here's to hoping this actually works, because if so, it'll be the first replay we have of a new layout. Not sure, though. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out. <clears throat> Welcome back to the 2v2 League. Now, I know the map says 2 here, but as you can see, there are actually 4 players. Uh, actually, it's SSSS who's made all of this possible, and it's Frosty Teeth who's designed this particular map, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and it's going to be a rematch between the Unbound and, uh, yes, Karakid Ice Cream, of course, how could I forget? We're back in the Desserts of Karak. Big shout out to the corporate sponsor, the Ferenshaw Creamery and Souvenir Shop. No massacres at all have ever taken place there, I, I promise. And I think this worked just fine, don't you? Yeah, seems to be functioning. So, let's go ahead and introduce this map, because this is one that most of you will not have seen yet. Very interesting one, very very much different from what you would expect. Uh, holy goodness! Speaking of different... <laughs> nice! I've never seen it get up so high. It's still going. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is what it looks like to be uh, an astronaut on Karak. This is seriously getting to be like ridiculous, the height that this guy's achieved. How, how high up must this be? I mean, honestly, that looks to me like... Uh, Uh, I don't know, I'm so bad with distances, but probably at least like 20 or 30 kilometers in the air. I, that's gotta be a record. That that must be the highest one I've ever seen. So this, this cast is already worth it without anything else happening. Certainly by seeking the stars, this salvager is going to invoke the wrath of Sajuk though, so we'll have to see what happens from there. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, what's going on? Um, yeah, we need to introduce the map first. So, you'll notice there is no expansion. Uh, you basically just have this main base right here. Um, it can fit the normal number of salvagers, and then your your expansion is down here, actually, which can fit two on both of those. So there's um, eight salvagers that can go down there. Uh, so map control is very important, because whoever controls this is the only ones who can have a second base. Also, uh, one of the artifacts is going to spawn right here, and then, you know, the extraction zone is right there. It's not too hard to get to it. So, map control incredibly important in this one. We tend to see very, very fast, very kind of, uh, you know, bloody nose type fights. It's people wailing on each other right from the get-go. Um, it's gonna be LAVs here coming out from, uh, who is this? Frosty Teeth gonna take out that base runner from SSSS. Um, and I think Peter... Yeah, Peter's putting salvagers over here, which is interesting. This is gonna be really bad long-distance mining, so I feel like unless you're gonna go for refinery mode, that's not really worth the investment. SSSS getting a really fast support cruiser, and he's gonna move out with his carrier. And he wanted that extraction, obviously, but he's not gonna get it. And said Kao Shmau gonna pull this one off really easily. Uh, extraction zone obviously is right there, so it's not going to be too hard. Um, the carrier is here and there's nothing to contest it, but he wants to stay back, I think, just to hold his base, especially as this uh, this little, um, whatever you call it, this attack, I guess, coming from the side over here. Peter's certainly going to be going for some kind of uh, aggressive play here with these two production cruisers, but I still have yet to see what it is. I guess it's just sand skimmers really for now. Um, but probably he'll be picking a tech before too long. Still no tech choice from... Yeah, okay, now, well, now there is. So, <laughs> the other two players, so Frosty being so long, by the way. Guinea Railgun Fabrication and uh, Kao Shmau doing the same as Galzian. And SSSS upgrading his power reserves. Um, looks like he wants to basically just take... Uh, you just use his carrier as a weapon uh, right from the get-go here. It's probably not a bad idea because he really needs to get that map control. Already two artifacts have been scored here. Once the third one spawns, they'll get scored immediately if they don't, you know, control this area, right? So that is indeed important. And I think they were both by Kalvish Mount, who's now got quite a lot of power in that carrier. Still no one even really touching this, uh, this, um, you know, Place expansion, I guess you'd call it. Uh, yeah, no one really touching that just yet. Um, although you can tell Karakit Ice Cream does want to go over there and check, make sure no one is in that location. They don't want to be fighting against two bases after all. SSSS still just mostly using his carrier here to take control of the map. He's going to make a base runner. I think he wants to get um, some early extraction or some extractions or something like that um, to get more carrier power. And it really does not look like it's part of the plan at all for the Unbound to go for that extraction, nor for Karakid Ice Cream. 
Right gun fabrication finished for both of these two blokes, so they're going to be uh, making those pretty soon, I would think. Cow had already gone for salt chip fabrication too, which is pretty interesting. Second base burner coming out now for SSSS. He's definitely going to score one artifact right there. I honestly don't even know if he needs two base burners for this, but I guess he might as well get it. Because, like, by the time this guy's finished, ex like, this guy will finish extracting, come over here, and then the artifact will be ready for him, but... By the time he gets there, he could almost have already gotten there, that's what I'm saying. So, there is quite a number of railguns here. This carrier cannot just run around with impunity, but... And these are Sabon railguns, too, actually. I forgot to... I kind of forgot about that. Peter beginning to make some heavy railguns, too, but it's not going to be a match for this. Um... And these Sylvan ones should definitely be better. And I think at this point, uh, I would be not very confident that we're going to be able to take this fight. I would try to go and expand onto that second location. It is being occupied by these LABs, so it definitely wants, uh, wants to make sure, the Unbound, that the expansion can't be taken. These are ALMs, huh? Well, one, uh, two of them are. Heavy Rail is kind of getting pushed down to this location here, um, which could be a little risky, because if they come up, they're going to be fighting against those guys from high ground. And SSSS is going to smoke his carrier too, he's got no interest in taking damage from those guys. Fighter and Gunship now coming out from SSSS, which is pretty cool to see, but there's quite a lot of anti-air over here, so I don't know how well it's going to work out for him. So, two artifacts extracted then. And this uh, this production cruiser very nearly went down, I missed that. Um, just to these rails I gotta assume. And it looks like, uh, it looks like Cracked Ice Cream gonna, um, deny the extraction over here, or at least I would've thought so. Actually, this'll be pretty close, but I think they, they should. Could be smoked, but it's chosen to smoke this location instead, I think to smoke that carrier. And there is a second base burner, so we'll be able to pick that one up, that's not a problem, but... Um, extracting this obviously is incredibly easy, so that's kind of an important move, I think, for Cracked Ice Cream. And if they can move these, uh, these Savon Railguns up to that location, too, well, then they might have some trouble with these Heavy Railguns on the flank, actually, which is a pretty good move from Peter, but, um, that, you know, that should keep the, uh, that should keep the opposing forces split up a little bit, at least. Windows Vista. That's why these things are never never managing to hit their target, huh? So, Strike Fighter's on the way now for uh, SSSS. He could launch him immediately if he wanted to against these two heavy rails over here, pretty exposed. But I think, honestly, these LAVs actually can just take it out. Yep, they're gonna see that, go for that one. Um, are those ALMs powered up? Because I feel like they're not really shooting. Yeah, yeah, they are, but they must be targeting, like, some erroneous... Oh, it's behind a little hill, isn't it? Yeah, that makes sense. See, that, that kind of stuff is difficult to see unless you kind of level out the camera there. You should always... You should always do this every now and then just to make sure that you do have like the, the lines of sight correctly in your mind. Fourth extraction probably going to go down here for um, for the unbound. and That's getting pretty tricky now for Karakid Ice Cream. But this is quite a number of rails now and I really think they can push out if they want to. Um, I'd like to see Kaoshimao making assault ships now because I feel like that would go very well with this uh, very large number of rails that they've already got. And that's clearly a weakness there, you can see how they're kind of getting flanked by that kind of stuff. And I know he's got the tech for it too. And, <laughs> sorry to keep dumping reasons for this, but they also need to get something done about as fast as they can because that fourth extraction is going to go down and it's not long before uh, the fifth one can be picked up. And you gotta, you got to imagine on this map it's going to be extracted almost immediately. What's the anti-air like? Doesn't look like there's any. Except for these two production cruisers, that's true. But we could definitely see some, some rail snipes go down over here. Okay, so production crews are going to go down there, which is excellent. Now it's time to go for those rails, I gotta think. Um, still taking losses, though, to these uh, strike fighters here. There's that fourth extraction now. About halfway done on this artifact, so they've got to be they've got to be moving almost immediately. And I think making a base runner to see if you can just go ahead and snag that one would not be a bad move at all. He's going after the carrier now of SSSS. Uh, not a bad move. He needs to get that out of the way if he's going to go for those artifacts. But there's not many railguns left here actually. Now that I look at it, um, are these getting mined out? 
Or is he just like, did he just have like a mix up and he's not mining off of that anymore? Phil's got mined out, it's definitely game over, I think, but. No, because then it should be mined out on this side too, and it's definitely not. So that, that's not what's going on here. Um, and now this team once again on the defense, crack at ice cream on the defense here. That should be enough to secure the victory for uh, for the unbound, because really everything needs to be moving there like right now. Um, and I don't think it can. I don't think it really can. Uh, this base runner is going to extract, and there's really nothing that uh, crack at ice cream can do to stop it. So I gotta say, on this map, this uh, this kind of carrier move out seems like a very viable strategy. Because you know, you know, it's it's gonna be hard to stop these extractions. If you can get that field control, have your carrier there, even if you take a lot of damage and probably would eventually lose the game, which is not even really the case here, but if it had been, you're still gonna get those extractions without too much difficulty, so. Nicely done to SSSS for kind of figuring that out. This is probably the first time he's played this map. It's definitely the first time it's been played in the league. This one is open, by the way, to be played um, by anyone, and uh, we really have SSSS and Frosty Teeth to thank for that one. Um, I mean, in the league, it's open to be played in the league. It's a, it's a valid map for it, which is you know why I'm casting this. But big thanks to all the people who have been involved in making these mods, and also of course to Frosty Teeth for um, setting up the league in the first place, making the layout for this particular map. Uh, that is going to be another win to the Unbound, and we'll move on to the third game that they played. Um, not going to upload them together, but they are kind of like a series, you know. So, yes, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you when I see you.